So this is the ladies ski team testing this year uh, the 2015 and 16 piece category skis. We had some brilliant weather this morning, nice and sunny, blue skies, perfect snow, really grippy piece. Obviously now you can see the weather's come in a little bit, the light got quite flat, but luckily with the hard piece we managed to keep going testing throughout the afternoon. So as we were testing the piece categories, we were looking at all sorts of different abilities from the ski, whether it was suitable for the, the category it was in. We have some expert skis, some advanced skis that we tested today. So throughout these two runs that we skied, we were looking at how responsive the ski was, how quickly we could roll it onto an angle, onto an edge, how it would hold that edge and how quickly we'd move off it. So as well as testing the performance of the ski, we're also looking at other factors like its value for money, how it looks, how it's suitable for the category that it's in. And so we've managed to come up with the top three skis that we like today. And so Steph's going to talk us through the Dina Star. So um, our number one today was the Dina Star Active. 10. Um, we just found this ski overall really versatile, playful, um, it held on long turns, it had really good grip, it was quite smooth as well, you could work the ski pretty hard but it was also, um, you could ski a little bit more relaxed for it, with it as well so in that way it was really versatile. Uh, in terms of value for money as well, it um, was £450 with the binding and so for I think what you're getting with the ski in terms of how versatile and and, and great it was, it was definitely up there with the value for money as well. So yeah, Dinosaur came up um, top in this category. Um, it was a K2 Love Machine um, and it was, uh, I, I found it quite a surprising ski. It's really lightweight. It's um, quite a slim construction, but it holds really well in the short turns. It's really light and playful. And if you take it into long turns, it's really happy going fast. So you can play around with it at all speeds. It was, it was again, super easy to use. So in terms of the suitability for category, it means that you know people can get on it and, and ski around on it straight away without having to try too hard, without having to feel like, right, I've really got to bring my A game to this. It was just, it was just really easy to ski around. So these are the Fisher Breezes. Um, they came up in our top three today. We, um, the manufacturers have made them very similar to the men's this year, um, but they've just set them a little further forward um, for the women. Um, they were really easy to turn. In the short turns, they were super whippy, quick and easy. And in the long turns, they felt very solid. And the best thing about them, we all thought, was the value for money. They came in at 360 pounds. Um, which was the lowest priced of all the skis we tested today and one of our favourites, so we were really pleased with them.